going ahead with the next question. It is asking us to create a replica name, the replica image in GINX, replica is equal to 3. Means uh, it is something that we need to create. But at the same time, if you see, there is a pod running already in our cluster. And we need to ensure that the total count for the pod should reach to 3. So we need to include that pod inside this replica. Let's just have a look at the pods that are running. So alias g is equal to give CTA. Then g get pods or from I can show labels. So labels is something that that might be there on most of the critical applications. But at the same time, if it is to be included in a replica, we should know what is there inside this port. So for that, we need to in, uh, dig it further. Means we need to see a YAML. The information about the port should exist in the YAML. So if we check that, Right from the beginning, if I say less to this, as you can see, this is a pod and label is app and then app is equal to web. And uh, default, it is in default namespace, mginx is an image, and uh, port used inside is 8080. Rest looks fine, we don't really see many information. If we go down, there is no file system, nothing else, no specific namespace or multiple containers. So as it is just one container inside the port, we can we can visualize that. In this case, where this port is to be included inside a replica set, and you know that there is no way to create a replica set in an imperative way, we must visit the documentation. You can see replica set is there in the uh, workloads the controller section. If you search it, we will find those example YAMLs. So this is one of the example YAMLs. I have looked at it, but instead of this, I I think it is I, I found it easy to create a deployment and then change into a replica set. But it might differ in your case. Whatever you find useful or easier, you can do that. But I found this way it's it's easier. So I'm, I'm creating a deployment, we create deployment and my deployment name is web and I'm creating replicas is equal to three images and GINX it is, as it is mentioned, hyphen hyphen port is equal to uh, 8080 whereas labels I'm not sure whether it takes labels or not, but in the at the first attempt, we will, we will definitely go for this. So app is equal to web, and then hyphen hyphen driver, and then equal to client, and hyphen hyphen. Let's try to generate this. Now it says label is not accepted. So let's just remove the label that we have just tried. So let's see if it generates it now. So as we can see, it has generated this YAML. So now I'm going to put it inside one of the uh, one sample file. So replica replica YAML. So so I need to just say. Replica, AI replica, and here inside this, I'm going to change the name of the deployment kind from deployment to replica set. Replica set. You need to check uh, double cross uh, means double check. R should be capital, and S of set should also be capital. Then I'm removing timestamp. And here in the labels, I need to specify app is equal to web. That is there by default. And my container name is web critical. So I'm typing that web critical. Replica set is three by default. And then strategy I'm going to delete because it's not needed. 
inside uh, if I try to run this file after saving it uh, it will throw me an error saying strategy is not allowed I have deleted strategy now timestamp is also need, not needed remove unnecessary stuff as you know and it looks fine at the moment main thing that I have changed here is replica set then I have changed from deployment I have I moved it uh, I removed the deployment and I changed it to repl replica set. I replaced it with replica set. Now, app is web already, uh, means the label is web, app is equal to web already. And I also changed the name of web critical. But you need to see that I have I have created this, uh, this particular deployment as web. Probably web is web is app is equal to web that's that's the uh, you know uh, label and everywhere you can see three times it's app is equal to web so let's just see everything works fine uh, g apply hyphen f and web data. so it has taken it Let's see if we have only three ports, uh, including the port that was running earlier. G get ports. As you can see, it has created three ports. And if I go and check for G get replica set, then you can see web replica uh, web critical is available. So this running port has become part of this particular replica set now. If I de delete this web critical, all three nodes uh, ports will be deleted. So this is the solution of this question. I hope you like it. Have a great time, guys.